This video treats the moss plant. Okay, moss plant. The moss plant is here. We treat it fern later. Okay, moss plant. Very soon, go to the natural environment and find out where we can find a moss plant. Okay. It belongs to a group of seedless plants known as bryophytes. It's very important that you know the group names. Because sometimes examiner will not tell you most plants, he will tell you bryophytes. And you have to know that it's referring to most. We have a group of plants known as moss plants. Okay? A group of plants known as bryophytes. There are some bryophytes are referred to as moss plants. Do you understand that? We have mosquitoes. We have different types of mosquitoes. So, what are examples of moss plants for your examination? We have funaria. Okay, then we have a brachymenium. Then we also have sphagnum. The examples of bryophytes. These are examples of bryophytes. Okay, bryophytes are seedless plants. They are non-flowering plants. They are lower plants. One of them is moss. Example of mosses are on the board. Let's look at the habitat of bryophyte. Where can you find bryophyte? If you want bryophyte, where do you go for it? Where do they live? Follow me to the field, an excursion, learn right excursion to see where bryophytes are. Here we are to look at the natural habitat of moss plants. The habitat of moss plants, where moss plants can be found. So, this way, typical habitat of moss plants. Very humid environment. Okay, you realize that it is not growing here because this place is exposed. This place is more moist, damp environment, highly humid. So most plant. You know that it's different from Spirogera. Okay? This is different from Spirogera. This is not Spirogera. The one you scrub in your bath, how? So this is moss. I hope you can see that. So the moist environment, very damp environment. Let's fetch some to be steady in the lab. Why is a moss plant found only in the damp environment? Because it lacks cuticle. You know, ordinary plant like this one, the flowering plant, is having cuticle. Cuticle. Cuticle on the surface. Cuticle is a waterproof and prevents water loss from the plants. One of the challenges of a terrestrial habitat is desiccation, evaporation of water from the body of living things. So nature has endowed terrestrial plants to have cuticle covering their surface. But most, one of the characteristics of uh, this group of organisms is that they lack cuticle. And because they lack cuticle, they lose water easily. That is why they can only do well in a very humid environment said that the rate of evaporation will be reduced. That's why they are found here. Another reason is that they need a moisture for fertilization. The sperm has to be carried, the sperm has to swim from the sex organ to the female organ for fertilization. And without water, fertilization cannot take place. So these are the two main reasons why moist why most plants are confined to damp environment. One, lack of cuticle. The two, water as a medium for swimming of the male gamete to the female gamete. Okay. The most plant lacks cuticle. Why should we even lack cuticle at all? Because it lacks vascular tissue. In a higher plant like flowering plants, 
absorption of water and mineral salts occur in the roots. Then will be ab uh, absorption occur in the root, then will be carried to other parts of the plant. The moss again lacks vascular tissue. It lacks xylem. So the entire plant effect absorption of water and mineral salt. And if cuticle covers the body of the organism, it cannot absorb water. Is that clear? Okay. Let's take this plant for instance. This is cedar acuta. Cedar acuta. The tip of the root through which water absorption of water okay doesn't have cuticle. Even though this part, the leaves are having cuticle. The green parts of stem are having cuticle. Is that clear? So that rate of water loss will be reduced. Fine. The tip of root through which absorption of water okay doesn't have cuticle. So absorption of water occurs in the root, then the water will be carried in the xylem to all parts of the plant. But for most plants, there is no vascular tissue to carry water. That is why nature has made it possible for the entire organism to absorb water. The leaf-like structure will also absorb water. So there is no need for cuticle so that water can be absorbed. But since there is no cuticle, the tendency of losing water is high. That is why they can only do well in a very humid environment, in relative humidity, so water loss will be reduced. I hope it's clear. Fine. Now that you have understood and you have seen the natural habitat of uh, most plants, don't forget, learn right is anti chew and pull anti chew and pull now you have seen the natural habitat of uh, most plants you don't have to chew and pull your note in the night again you saw it yourself so you remember you are part of it so let's move on you are part of it so let's leave to the lab and see what will happen there Welcome back to the lab. Where can you find a bryophyte? In the sketching, you saw bryophyte. It's found in moist, humid, and shady environment. Moist, humid, and shady environment. Okay? And this type of environment can be found maybe in the forest floor. And you know, this type of you know block. That is a decomposing environment, shady environment. And I explained to you, I uh, sketched that because of lack of cuticle, which is because of absence of vascular tissue. So it's found in moist, humid, and shady environment. That's habitat of moss plants. Join me in the next video where we look at the structure of a moss plant.